What's up, everybody, and welcome back here on Forza Motorsports 7 for a recap of round three of SSR at Road Atlanta. We are going to be taking a look at my qualifying runs. So my qualifying runs were pretty decent. Um, I ended up getting an 80.5, which put me in the 11th spot for qualifying, which I was very happy with to get 11th spot. And, you know, it was uh, definitely a uh, good time to uh, have a little bit of pressure off because there was not 24 drivers that made it into qualifying so there was only 22 so i needed to make sure i just got a points on the board and i was into the show i didn't know that and uh after my first run valiant was like and that's what you do to get in the show and then i sent it a little bit harder on the second run it did get an 80.5 so it was definitely cool to uh get the 11th spot and the 11th position in qualifying and actually qualify for the round not just you know qualify in you know, last place and just because I made it in because there wasn't enough drivers, I was up there in, you know, the bracketry. So going into the battles, going into the battles was very interesting. I was originally seated up against um, somebody, but I think they dropped out last minute. So I ended up getting a buy run into the top 16. Um, so I needed to make a buy run. I needed to not zero the buy run and I almost zeroed my buy run. Uh, if I would have zeroed the buy run, I wouldn't have made it to 16. So I accidentally made a mistake going on the exit of the, um, final, almost the final turn of road Atlanta. And I had to clutch in e-brake real quick, keep car angled. You guys will see that in the raw footage after I'm done, after I explain all this, I'm going to show you guys the raw footage from my buy run as well as my tandem run. So we went into top 16. We were going against Wented. Wanted, Wented, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. So he was very consistent, was a very consistent driver all day and a very consistent driver all around in his ATSV. I was supposed to face him in round, uh, in round one, but... I ended up not getting a chance to. So it was a battle that I was anticipating and I wanted to do. So we went against him. Um, I had to chase first because he was a hot top qualif higher than me in qualifying. So I started off, you know, with the 50 roll and we went into initiation. Well, he snapped the angle real quick. I kind of had to like finesse the car into angle on entry because I was a little bit focused on trying not to hit him. But that kind of, uh, left me at a little bit of a you know a deficit because I was a little bit behind I was able to pick up the pace I was had to sacrifice some angle to kind of keep up with him because his ATSV was really quick and uh, I had to sacrifice angle and then the judges noticed it because they wanted me to be in more angle from their commentary but unfortunately I had to stay a little bit shallower to keep up with him his car was really quick and I wanted to I was trying to sacrifice angle to gain proximity and it was kind of just you know, my initiation, I know, made the mistake because I didn't get to angle as fast enough. I got to the angle he was at, but it was a little bit too late. So we were in a little bit of a deficit going into our lead run. So lead run goes, I got a good jump off the line. Um, I think he maybe knew he had an advantage, so we kind of backed up a little bit. I had Anthem um, doing some, uh, you know, spotting for me, letting me know what's going on. And uh, so... I left the line, got a good jump on him, initiated hard into the first turn, got real quick to angle, really nice initiation, really high angle, right on line, right on clip, and uh, just continued the course. Wanted was right there. He was he was a little bit further back but than I was in some of the parts of the track, but he was able to catch up to me. I was able to hit all my clips and where I needed to be and finish the run strong with a high angle exit going up, uh, powering out up the hill. Um... The judges took a little bit to deliberate because, you know, I had a really good lead and, you know, but it was just not enough to overshadow the deficit I had on my chase where I didn't get to angle right away and I had to be lower angle when I was chasing him because I couldn't keep up with the car. So the three, uh, the 370, I also had to cut the last clip on my chase as well, which unsettled the car when I hit the rumble strips. 370 is very, very uh, dependent on weight transitioning and hitting that rumble strip and like clipping the grass a little bit kind of unsettled the suspension and uh the judges noticed it so unfortunately we took the loss in 16 i don't feel bad it was a great it was a fun time you know bringing out the 370 for the first time definitely very comfortable in it looking forward to round four at homestead where they're going to be going on the bank so it's definitely uh going to be fun going into round four I had learned a lot in the round with the 370, with just a little bit I drove. Learned a lot with uh, tuning from I-10 and Maddie helping me out, with Anthem and Renga and all the guys helping me get this car dialed. So I'm looking forward to round four. Not going to let it bother me because, you know, this is all for fun. You know, I'm doing it because it 
increases my driving. Yes, if I get an ESDA license, it'd be even better, but I'm doing it because I enjoy it. I love doing it. I love bringing you guys the content of the competitive side of Forza for Forza Drifting and the competitive side for me and the learning curve that I'm going from with this being technically other than the one run I did in my FC last season that uh, first event at SR, this is, you know, my first real you know, drive into competitive drifting on Forza. So it's a big learning curve for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot and I'm gaining more knowledge and I'm getting better and better every round. So I'm not upset that I lost in 16. I will get some points, but I'm also not upset because he went on to take the win overall in the event. So I ended up losing to the guy who won overall. So I don't feel bad at all. Like I said, I do this for fun. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I'm going to leave you guys with the raw footage with Anthem and I from my buy run and my um, tandem run against uh, Watson in round three. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys come back. More torque drift and stuff coming this week, as well as preparation for round four at Homestead, which <laughs> looks like it might be wet. So we're going to uh, end this here with uh, the commentary, leave you guys with the raw footage. You'll hear Anthem and I, him talking about my runs and everything like that. And uh, I hope you guys come back. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time. That was almost really bad. That was almost really bad. Oh. That was almost really bad. That was yeah, almost really bad. the last corner. I don't think I, I, don't think I zeroed. I don't no, think I didn't. came out of drift, but holy crap, that could have been bad. <laughs> uh, you had a major, major correction, but you should be good. That was almost really bad. That was a major correction, like, at the end. Yeah, like, Koala right now said it ain't zero, but yeah. So pretty much, if you're a battle, I'm gonna need the mic. Good luck, buddy. Oh, yeah, also, let me know when you have finished your first one. All right. I tire dropped on the exit of the last turn. Uh, that wasn't that bad. 
you, you still have the battle chance, but uh, also you were uh, in the initiation. You were pretty much on the same angle as he was. So, all right, just I'm gonna go try to lose him. All right, try to lose him. But keep your line. Oh, that was so close to dropping two at the end. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, you had a better lead than he did. You Ooh. were pretty much on the better uh, line, and your freaking angle was perfect. That entry, though, was pretty good. You wanted me to throw more angle. I threw but more I angle did. for you. <laughs> that, no, dude, that was perfect. That was nice. But I feel that you were... I was more angle on entry, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I don't want to say it, but I'm thinking that you... I had a better line yeah, to the keyhole, too. Proximity. And I had yeah, more proximity, had yeah. A... Yeah. So this... You never know. It's really quiet. This might be OMT. But yeah, you were playing with the last corner at the line, like the exit. You were, you were fucking playing. I was tickling that zero. <laughs> that could have been. I was couldn't go any further. Yeah. That lead was good, and though. I believe that what, uh, when you chased, you said that you dropped on the exit. I don't believe that you dropped. Because I, it was so close, but you were on the rumble, I believe. Hopefully. I thought I dropped it. I just can't... I just didn't get to angle when I've chased him. That was my... That's my... 